This segment of the news is brought to you by Great Basin College, a pioneer in distance education. Your success is their tradition. Now offering over 25 degree and certificate programs in Pahrump and online. All right, let's find out what's happening across the state in your News Across Nevada. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Here's your news across Nevada. The State of Nevada Department of Health and Human Services Division of Healthcare Financing and Policy have announced the selection of four health plans to administer health care services for approximately 460,000 Nevada Medicaid enrollees participating in managed care. Aetna Better Health of Nevada, Amerigroup, Health Plan of Nevada, and Silver Summit Health Plan. The approval of the four managed care contracts by the Board of Examiners at the December 2016 meeting enables them to improve the value Nevada receives for the dollars spent in Medicaid managed care. Open enrollment will begin April 1st of 2017. On January 1st, the Nevada Network Against Domestic Violence officially became the Nevada Coalition to End Domestic and Sexual Violence. The new name and logo reflect the metamorphosis of the agency and affirm its mission to be a statewide voice advocating for the prevention and elimination of domestic and sexual violence through partnering with communities. The Nevada Coalition to End Domestic and Sexual Violence will continue to provide statewide advocacy, training, funding, and other support to programs, as well as education to the public at large. In addition to expanding the mission and changing the name, the Nevada Coalition to End Domestic and Sexual Violence has opened an office in Southern Nevada located in Las Vegas. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has announced that Nevada has been selected as one of eight states for participation in a two-year certified community behavioral health clinic demonstration program designed to improve behavioral health services in the community. The demonstration program award signals an unprecedented opportunity for Nevada's behavioral health system to innovate the ways in which behavioral health providers can address unmet need in both urban and frontier communities. They will be providing behavioral health and primary care services to individuals, children, families, and adults in their communities. The services will include 24-hour mobile crisis and crisis services, outpatient mental health and substance use treatment, case management, recovery support services for veterans and their families. Nevada has an opportunity to implement system-wide changes for Medicaid and Nevada checkup beneficiaries and help individuals with mental and substance abuse disorders obtain the health care they need. In the wake of national issues involving lead in drinking water, the Nevada Division of Environmental Protection secured U.S. Environmental Protection Agency grant funding to begin a voluntary testing program for Nevada elementary schools. Grant funding will cover laboratory analytical costs to initiate drinking water sampling in all 408 Nevada public schools, including public charter schools with a kidney garden or pre-K program. In the event that old drinking water fountain or old culinary fixture is contained contributing lead to school drinking water, the grant also provides funding for replacement of fixtures until the funds are depleted. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. Thanks, Deanna. And now here's this week's entertainment report with Alicia Cook. In your entertainment this week, congratulations go out to Janet Jackson, who has given birth to a baby boy. 50-year-old Jackson and her husband with Sim Almana welcomed their first child named Isa on Tuesday. Medical personnel report that Janet had a stress-free, healthy delivery and is resting comfortably. In April, Jackson announced that she was postponing her tour amid speculation that she was pregnant. Jackson then went under the radar and finally publicity confirmed that she was expecting in October. Members of the rap group Run DMC are suing Amazon and Walmart for $50 million for trademark infringement. This suit, filed Thursday in federal court in New York, accuses the retailers of manufacturing, marketing, and selling products with the group's trademark name, including glasses, hats, t-shirts, and wallets. Run DMC says in the suit that it has made $100 million on trademark products over the years, including including a $1.6 million sneaker deal with Adidas. Mariah Carey's performance Saturday night during Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' E with Ryan Seacrest went haywire when a vocal track malfunctioned and threw off the singer's lip singing on stage. According to her team, she said a technical issue occurred while she was preparing to sing her hit Emotions. She stopped singing and tried to find her place, explaining to the crowd that her vocal track was missing and 
she couldn't hear through her earpiece. She opted to let the audience sing her follow-up performance of We Belong Together into a certain pre-recorded bits of her signature high notes ringing out. Some are criticizing the singer for blaming others for her inability to perform. After a Pomona, California artist told reporters that the altered the Hollywood sign to read Hollyweed, Los Angeles police detectives say they plan to submit their case to the Los Angeles County District Attorney for possible prosecution against artist Zach Fernandez, who calls himself Jesus Hands. He said that him and his wife dressed in camouflage and used a rope to swing around the letters using clamps to clip sheets of fabric and photographs to them. The entire act took about two hours. One of the tarps was decorated with a peace sign and another with a heart. They said it was in homage to a Cal State Northridge student who pulled off the same act on New Year's Day in 1976 when marijuana possession was reduced from a felony to a misdemeanor, whereas currently marijuana was legalized in California for recreational use. This has been your Entertainment This Week. I am Alicia Cook for News 46. Thanks, Alicia. A class will soon be offered at No to Abuses facility on Blag Road. We're going to be offering a class called Life Skills Plus. And what it is, is the first hour of the class, we are going to be offering stuff related to nutrition, learning how to eat healthy, uh, menu planning, uh, making your uh, budget go further as far as shopping goes. Along with that, at a certain point, we're going to have grocery store tours at Walmart. So mm -hmm. it's going to be very interesting. Um, the second part of that class is going to be other life skills like personal finance, budgeting, stress management, that kind of thing. The class is going to be offered, it's an eight week class, two hours on a Friday. And it will be offered at Nevada Outreach Training Organization, which is on Blog Road. And uh, you can start registering now. Yeah. Is there a fee? There's no fee for this class. This class is perfect for what type of individual? For pretty much anybody 18 and older that wants to learn and make their life better. And uh, do you have a limit on the class size? or? We can um, take up to about 12 people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, the classes, uh, when's the start time to register for that? Okay, you can start to register uh, today, and the time of the class will be Fridays afternoons from 12 noon to 2. Nevada Outreach Training Organization okay. is on Blag Road mm -hmm. in between 372 and Wilson. For more information, is there a number to call? Yes, I would be 775-751-1100. Uh, one eight. All right, it's getting a little chillier, so Noah Began's going to tell you what you can expect next.